the sun has barely risen over the rooftops, but the township of Soweto is already abuzz. It is not due to any festive occasion, but rather the day the Department of Social Development through its agency SASA disperses grants to caregivers on behalf of their children. Today, we explore the stories of courageous caregivers who navigate the challenges of raising their children in a society where financial stability can be elusive. Meet Nogutula Mbata, a resilient and determined caregiver who relies on the state child support grant to provide for their children. As we sit here with her in her home, her voice echoes the stories of countless caregivers across the township. I was born before Omdala Uze University. I was born before I was born in Batolela E. Grant. I was so, I grant you to the one by train to be in Shilo, you one point four fifty. A leo maleo, I am the next. I am a pizza, my conu pesha pesha. Send Gulumela Gulu, Scatsanam Tanju, good I get to. I call Zonales Gaulumen, Zibana, my trips, the funny logs, the funny log, my uniform. I puma below my leo at the end, low one point five and don't be back. Nogutula's story is just one thread in the larger fabric of Soweto's community. So, well, um, Danami, but um, so who won? So, in my day, I came into the booty upon the scholar, a cooking a scholar, a pumpy, a conogusa, a cooking chicken, a carne, a chabood. This financial support does not only just empower families, but also contributes to the local economy. The significance of the child support grant becomes apparent when we discover the substantial role the markets play in facilitating the flow of this grant. In the 1980s, the apartheid state was at its most brutal, coming from the killings of black children in the late 70s. In the 1980s, the apartheid government started to equalize the value of grants, preparing for the inevitable change from a racially exclusive system to a democracy by 1993. The values of the grants were mostly equal, but access remained unequal for the majority of black children, especially those in the towns and rural villages of former homelands where access was rare. When South Africa became a democracy, the new government had the responsibility of correcting the injustices of a brutal apartheid government and social assistance was one of the many strategies it had to employ to alleviate poverty, especially child poverty. The CSG was conceptualized over a two-year period starting in 1996. South Africa had just voted for a constitutional democracy with a Bill of Rights reflecting an explicit transformative agenda that was aimed at achieving substantial equality. In 1995-96, social grants reached some 2.5 million people, mostly elderly and people with disabilities. Approximately 400,000 of these beneficiaries were women and children in receipt of the State Maintenance Grant, or SMG. The result in 1998 was the introduction of a low-value grant targeted at young children under seven and with a means test, so it was targeted at children living in poverty. When challenged on the low amount, the Minister of Social Development at the time, who was Geraldine Fraser Moliketi, um, was very clear that it's a contribution from the state to the cost of a child and that is part of a package of support making, um, measures which included other parts of the social wage such as free basic health care and subsidized housing. In the annual reports of major retailers, we find a resounding acknowledgement of the importance of the social grants and its contributions to the economy. This moment symbolizes hope 
resilience and the determination of a community to uplift itself from the challenges it faces. The CSG has been successful at reaching a large number of poor children with relative ease and it has the most pro-poor targeting record of all the existing social grants. The Child Support Grant has successfully reached 13 million children to the value of 510 rand a month per child. The allocated CSG budget for the 2022-2023 financial year was 77 billion rand. South Africa's social assistance program stands as a globally recognized model, acknowledged for its strategic role as the nation's primary poverty alleviation initiative. And in 2022, the World Bank Report on Equality in Southern Africa also identified South Africa's Child Support Grant as the program with the largest impact on poverty and the widest coverage of the poor. This responsibility of bringing up the child is about empowering the parents, the grandparents, the community. And I say to the department, you've got to be able to do it house to house, street to street, community to community.